Hey guys, welcome back to Get to Fumadin. This game, after the, my last recording session, I found out that this is a very slow game. It requires you to farm a lot in order to get these upgrades. So it took me, at this point in, of the game, I, I played a little bit more than 4 hours into the game and I only have now gotten uh, enough Things enough things, um, these resources for to upgrade something here. Um, health move, moves, uh, which is attack or counter. I think health. Let's just go health. And then I have enough these yellow resources. Um, I can do increase max number of healing potions you can have by one. Allows you to bring 10% of each material back. Or spirit of mineral. Spirit mineral? I think one of these is the, the material is the material to upgrade your weapons. And I think spirit mineral is the, are these things, these uh, tau things. The resources. Sure. Now it's ninety. <laughs> uh, I mean, mm, like each run for the first stage, at least, it, I only get. I I say like around ten. Sometimes uh, you're lucky and you get like. 12-ish. Sometimes you're unlucky and you get, I don't know, like 7-8 of those. Keen katana, nameless katana. I can upgrade it. Let's not upgrade that. I think I'm just gonna upgrade nameless katana for now. These upgrades are only um, like that you unlock it, uh, but you, you only you don't actually upgrade your weapon. 
until after you beat the first boss or you uh, find the weapon that is already unlocked uh, that already has that uh, perk unlocked let's check the sub weapons yeah so there's a lot of things to unlock and every one of these things requires a lot of resources and I, I feel like everything it just costs too much uh, you need more than just a couple runs in order to actually beat this so uh, what I'm so after since I've already um, unlocked some of these uh, I've upgraded myself I've unlocked uh, another I've unlocked another um, weapon upgrade I'm gonna try to beat the second boss so so far I have gotten into the second boss area um, I've, I've gotten to the second like the, I've actually seen the second boss I've tried it a couple, couple times and it's just not very how do I say it? It's not very easy to beat. So, and I've also learned um, for the upgrades on the bottom there. Um, so, every time you pick up a spirit. Thing. Uh, these what are those called? The soul devourer. So every time you pick up one of those souls, uh, you your uh, the thing goes one away, one further down the down the line. Uh, so you have four of them. You pick up one, you you can upgrade your main weapon. Pick up. Two Two, you can upgrade your sub weapon. Pick up three, you can upgrade your health, and four, you can upgrade your potion. Uh, you can get a free potion. So, um, in order to upgrade your health, you actually need to find three of them. Um, so, so upgrading each one of these is uh, requires different number of of these souls. So that is uh, something that it's kind of. Mm, kind of bad, <laughs> kind of like stupid, but whatever. It is what it is, I guess. Okay, just f um. Going around, explore every, everywhere, uh, so I can now upgrade my health. Um, so I've been just using this uh, sword here, this basic sword for like, it, it, and uh, it's just not bad. And, um, so the other weapons they have different perks. They're like either very slow in the attack or very fast in the attack, but no, don't really knock people, not knock the enemies back. So uh, you you want them to knock to get knocked back so that you can actually interrupt their attack. That is uh, one of the main reasons I'm using this sword. It's like it's very fast, and it all it can also interrupt the enemies attacks obviously some enemies they don't get interrupted um, so uh, yeah so but that that's like those are the heavy enemies and you can just their attacks are very really predictable so you can just dodge it instead like these guys Yeah. 
Dodge. Got caught in in that whole thing. I need like I'm just going around trying to find either weapons, uh, sub weapons. I need a really good sub weapon. Oh my god! Frick. There is this bomb sub weapon that you can get, and uh, this thing here. This is one of the things. It does a lot of damage, but it, you can only use uh, one uh, of it at a time. But it's like it still does a lot of damage. I don't need a spear. Let's just buy this. Like, so there's also the cow traps, uh, which I just dropped. I really don't understand what those cow traps are good for. <laughs> they're they're just bad. <laughs> Upgrade actually. Uh, I should. I should just. I should farm. I guess. I mean, even though I kind of lose all my resources after I die to the, the second boss, but there's a small chance that I might not die. The second boss and actually beat it. So after playing um, a lot of uh, several hours of this game, I noticed that the map is sort of stays the same. It's like it's kind of different each time, but it's also kind of the same. So you re you can just remember like what's where and then the, so th what's the different uh, what's different between each run is the the uh, location of the chests, the location of those um, those uh, those texts on the stones that those are different. The location of the gates are different. Uh, for has a lot of health.
Oh my god. So bad. Okay, so... What do I want here? I can take one potion? Let's take a health and a... attack then. I think that is good. So you can do this, activate... Okay, so... Uh, as you can see, I have 8 and 12. 8 green ones, green tower resource things, and 12 um, yellow tower resource things. I have one eyeball. So, the resource on the left is the resource that you're currently holding, and the right, right is the resource that is in the storage. So the resource you're currently holding will <laughs> get uh, will get discarded or lost after each run, and and uh, obviously the what the resource that is in the storage will be not lost. What? What the hell? <laughs> My god. These real things. These are so annoying, and the archers' arrows is so annoying as well. I'm thinking I should save up for a potion. One of these um, shops is a resource shop, and the other one is the normal uh, 
the the normal the normal shot. So right now my uh, my sword here, my nameless katana is actually just really good. Okay, there's a potion. Bow. God. Damn it. When these monsters, when these demons, when they stack up, it's so, so difficult to avoid their attacks when they just stack up like that. There is a gate. I haven't unlocked any other gate. Any other fast travel gate. Oh yeah, and that, like I just re um I just found out that you can use tap to open up the map. Nothing on the top there. Mm, no, the bowl is not very good. There here is a fast travel. Thought there would be something there, but guess not. Something up here. Another health upgrade.
Um, I don't think I missed anywhere else. Oh, in the beginning, uh, there are still some enemies here. Well, that's not very exciting. <laughs> um, yeah, everywhere else is explored. Okay, so let's go. Centipede time. Um, it's not very good. <laughs> I don't have that much uh, health. 1.8k health is not a lot. So, that attack is fine. That attack is uh, not fine. I, I've, only, I've only been... I've only been avoiding that attack accidentally. I don't know how to avoid that attack. Oh my god. Really? How did I get hit? <laughs> I avoided that attack. This is so fucking annoying. How? How? One HP? Okay, why did that? Oh my god. Like that, that, that snaking motion, like it's so difficult to avoid. And... <sighs> I, I don't know how you can like get more potions.
Because this is... I, I don't know how... Or, or, or you have to like avoid taking damage and then just try to... Just try avoid taking damage and try to survive. Try to not use your potions. Like value your potions a lot more. I think the spirit mineral. I I think I. I think those are spirit minerals and the and the um the these things are your uh, materials. Anyways. Yeah, I will leave it off here. It's a long run. It's not as long as Monster Train, but it has been a long run. So something before I leave is that I don't think I can this game every single day because there isn't enough content in this game for me to record and upload videos for this game every single day because every run is very similar. Uh, every run you do the exact same, exact same thing and then I just need to improve my skill in order to uh, progress into the story. So that is something that needs to be for me to be worked on off camera so it and it might take a while to do so. <laughs> so uh, it's so I do need time to do this. So with that being said, Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We finally made some progress into the game with our uh, fragments, shards, whatever you call it, towel thingies. If you did enjoy the, the video, please do consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you all in the next video. Either be this or Monster Train. So stay tuned and bye for now.